So what's your story? How did you get into music? How long? So like, I, as I mentioned when we were chatting, like the goal for this and my, the, the platform that I want to use is like the fact like I want to inspire artists to say, hey, you can actually make a career. Like for years, like I was told there's no money in music. There, It's impossible to make a career out of it. And look, I get that it's hard. But if you're willing to put in the work, I think it's possible. I think that you, you might not be a millionaire, but uh, like like the person I'm talking about, like the general public, the person might not turn into a millionaire, but they could make a career out of it. And I would love to hear your story and how you pursued music and how you got to where you are and any advice you have. Absolutely. Well, I was in a similar boat as you, you know, growing up, I had a really narrow view of uh, what, you know, making it in the music industry. Yeah, yeah. And heard those similar stories, like the music industry is fickle and scary and all that stuff. Uh, and so I actually, I, I went to college t- as a pre-dental major for a couple wow. of years. Wow, okay. And then, but I still had like enough of the bug where it's like, you know, I should sure. maybe try this music thing. Like I can always go back to school, but I want to like be, you know, marketable and have youth on my side and all that. So... Um, yeah, you know, I just decided to try to just like join a startup band in Minnesota when I was 20 years old and have been doing that sort of thing ever since. That's amazing. Um, and, and I, it's interesting that to hear what, you know, what you, what you share with up and coming artists, because I feel the exact same way. I wish I would have known oh my gosh, how yeah. many opportunities there actually are out there. Um, it's a little easier now than it was then that was kind of like the early days of the internet where it was like a lot of like message boards and stuff like that. You know, it's not just like hopping on Instagram and shooting someone a DM. Oh, Um, sounds awfully familiar. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Um, you know, so back then networking was a little harder, but these days, I mean, it's like, it's, it's a breeze really. Um, so I'm, I'm in, in some ways, like I'm, I'm envious of, of the up and comers now, but I'm super happy for them for that, that reason. Um, yeah. and you I know, think but... it's similar in the sense of like, while there are more opportunities, there's definitely a lot more, um, uh, uh, competition, I feel like. Um, yeah. but I, I think that if I really believe that if people are willing to put in the work, you know, I think if you're willing to grind it out and really just go for it, like treat it like a job, you know, I think that that's the thing, biggest thing people think, Oh, I'm going to be a musician. And they, and I'd love to hear your take on it. Like, I'd love to hear your, your work side of it. Like how you, like the work you had to put in and, and stuff like that. Uh, but be like, oh, I'm a musician. I'm just going to sit on the couch and, you know, eat chips all day and then write a song at night. And then hopefully I'll be famous one day, you know. And it's like, yeah, it doesn't work out eh, like exactly. that for sure. Um, um, but, I mean, the first thing I tell kids is I'm like, you have to absolutely love it. You oh have to gosh, be willing yeah. to do it for free before you even think about getting paid to do it. Yeah, that's good um, advice. And so that's, that's the main thing. Like, don't do it. If you're like, I think I like music, then don't do it. If you're like, I live and breathe music, then do it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was, like I said, it started when I was 20, uh, you know, joined up with a startup band with some unreasonable expectations looking at, <laughs> you know, it's like, we kind of had this impressive plan in place. We thought that we were going to be able to just sort of like take over the gigs from an established group that was like sort semi-retiring okay Um, so we actually had their manager agree to manage us and the plan was yeah we'll just like take over the gigs that you guys are saying no to which is a great plan except that a startup band is not ready to take over the gigs of a band that's been going for 20 years yeah um, we just weren't like it, you know, it took us a couple of years to just find our footing and, and learn how we do what we do, um, and be worth like the ticket prices. Yeah. Um, so it was just that like wedding out. band or was that like, uh, like show band? What was that? That was not too dissimilar from what I'm doing now. It was a vocal group, um, okay. but it wasn't, it wasn't country. It was kind of like a, like a lot of the vocal cover bands out there who okay. try to do a little bit of everything. Um, it, it was, it was one of those, actually the group, the band was called blue Jupiter, um, and they're still going. So, you know, what, what they've done has worked. Um, cool. but I was, you know, I was young, I was hungry. Um, you know, after like a year of it being clear that, uh, it wasn't going to go like we hoped it was going to go. Then I sort of stepped back and, uh, and I thought, okay, I'm going to give this another year. 
and if it's if it's like gained some serious momentum great uh, i'll ride it out um but if in, in a year from now you know if it hasn't i at least want to have an album out with my name and likeness on it my voice cool. that i'm really proud of and i want to have made some contacts in the industry and if that's all that's happened i can be so thrilled with the experience and i can move on and uh wow and that's that's in, that ended up being like what happened so i gave it one more year recorded an so album. one more year as a musician and then you were potentially going to go back pre-dental no 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 just one more year with that particular band okay that's what i was going to ask it, like it was time to move on to something else did you have a plan b in the sense of like if music didn't work out in general or were you like no nah, i'm gonna go for this and that's kind of that's it you know what i mean or did you give I, yourself a timeline for that say hey if it doesn't work out in five years then you know i guess i'm not you know what i mean i never really did that honestly yeah neither did uh, i the only thing i had in my back pocket was i had uh I had done some networking with uh, with one of the agencies that specializes in uh, staffing like cruise ship groups. Oh, cool, yeah. So I like yeah. knew I could fall back on that if I ever needed to. Yeah. Dude, those uh, make good money, you know. <laughs> it was Oh, it's a great gig. And that's one yeah. of the things, you know, we'll probably go off some, on some tangents here, but that's one of the first things I tell kids who are interested in music is I'm like, listen, every single cruise ship out there has probably, I don't know, at least 50 hired entertainers on it, something like that. Um, and there are more cruise lines than you even realize. Like there's oh, probably, yeah. you know, 10 cruise lines you've never heard of. And each one of those cruise lines has 10 ships. And each one of those ships has all those entertainers I just mentioned. Um, so just the cruise industry alone is an incredible resource. Uh, it's also a way to like find out if you really want to do what you think you want to do. <laughs> yeah, you're doing it seven nights a week for six months. Absolutely. Yeah. It's <laughs> almost, I mean, I'll be honest. I took the cushier gig than that. Um, you know, but it's also just like one of those things where it's like, this is your life. Like you're going to be, you're going to basically disappear yeah. for six months.